Hello there and welcome back to some more Breath of the Wild. In the last episode what we did was we found our way towards some extra loot. Got our cut rock mask after waiting for a long time but we found it. And now we're going to get the rest of the dark armour. I'm going to go to the bottom of every waterfall and search the water because I don't know how they said three. And expect me to know which three they're talking about. So I'm going to go... Like underneath the water of each one. And grab every chest I find. Oh. Planet Gun and Skull. Some believe the Siri head goes and spirited by a dark entity resembling the great king of evil himself. It's a rather rare find. No shit. Okay, so if I just equip all of them, what do I get? Guys, bone attack up. I also look cool as hell. Okay, next. Ancient mask in the outpost ruins. Oh, I've already been to the outpost ruins, but I didn't actually find the right area. Also, disguised from what? Just bone creatures? Brought them everything. Who are the guardians looking at me and be like, oh, you're Ganon, that's fine. As long as you make the Gandalf noises, they're okay with you. Also, I won't be getting electrocuted, I've got nothing metallic on me. I've unequipped everything. Show me where to go. I shall gladly follow you to the ends of the earth. Is this book always here? I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle and treasure chests. I shall write down the locations. Misko. The ancient mask lies at the ancient ru at the ruins where the soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Cullum are visible. The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these place pieces at the ruins where trade flourished, at the ruins where sinners were imprisoned, and at the village ruins next to the farmland where many people once gathered. Next. The princess of twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the hero of twilight, her helmet can be found at the temple ruins soaked in the waters of Regencia River. Armour worn by fierce phantoms, feared even by heroes, is hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pieces at battleground where brave souls tested their skill, the ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honoured, and at the ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gathered. Next. The X is written on the last page. What could it all mean? Lies at the ruins where the soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Column are visible. It's like, literally right here? Really? It's a garrison, so yeah, they would, they would go there for sure. All right. We're basically back on the plateau. Okay, cool. Ganondorf is not Climber Supreme, turns out. The 
put the clothes away because the clipping it doesn't bother me most clothes, but against with Ganondorf it did bother me. Shit, really. Shit, really. There. That's better. Final shot of the bow. Did its job. You found me. Sacrilege. Let's go, you felt. me. Just your friendly neighbourhood Ganon. Should probably really embody the character of Ganon and just let them die. They're like, nope, sorry. Curse you and your stupid face. Yeah. Was I being chased by something? Like, what, could I not focus? Because I didn't really look very hard, did I? Majora's Mask. An enemy mask passed down from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. It's a rather rare find. It's just straight up Majora's Mask. In the ruins where trade flourished, Ruins of Fywall Field. Well, Hyrule Castle Town is where trade flourished. Sinners were imprisoned. Could be here. The ranch should be where horses gathered. The village ruins next to farmland. Maybe the garrison ruins where they used to be? I'm not sure I want to do that right now. I'll get killed. The temple ruins soaked in the waters of Agencia River. Regencia is like over here. The ruins soaked in the waters. The temple ruins. This would be that. Okay. Got it. This will be that one. At least it narrowed down the search for the other ones. It narrows down the search for the narrow downs. Really zoom it back in. Zoop. Try not to get shot, 007. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going the right way. If this is indeed the right location, which I believe it is. The downside of all this armor is you can't really upgrade it, I don't think. That's 
why they give me the set bonus straight away when I equipped it all. Is that picked up like mid air? It looked like. I've definitely never been here before. So these chests and that are just around. Thank you for the opal. Thing about ruins this size is it's not big enough to really hide much of anything. Bye. Give me that chest. I mean, my sword's nearly broke, so I'll come back for this once my sword breaks. Let's see, let's test theory. Ice arrow. Regular guy. Ice crystals? No. No regular choo choo jelly. Alright, fine. Then I'm full of shit, I guess. I was pretty confident about that one, too. I thought, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game or something. Where that kind of interaction happens. A little bit harder to find. Midna's helmet. A helmet much like the one Midna wore when she fought alongside the hero of Twilight. It's a rather rare find. Okay. At a battleground where brave souls test their skill, a ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honoured, at the ruins where the soldiers of Hyrule gather. Spice, Foster Talus, the Apple of My Eye. I need to find uh, I do need to find the location of all of the Dragons again. Okay, well, that's done. It's pretty cool. It's where Midna's helmet. It's actually a pretty good helmet. Let's sort the inventory out, put it all back in order. This is attack plus plus plus. Right now, three levels of attack up. And, uh, I guess we can move. I guess we'll do this because it's a shrine quest, right? So, it makes sense to do it. Shrine quests, because shrines are becoming fewer and further between. I need to actually try and find them. So any time I can get a quest to find a shrine, I should take it.
but then I'm going to need to have my cold resist gear on. Because it's quite chilly up on the top of the mountain, turns out. And I should have my climbing boots on. Yeah, that's how I like it. I like it sorted by all the types together, rather than, like, all the bonuses together, rather than all the leggings in one section, or the whatever in another. Okay. So this quest says, When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. That's alive, but we'll fight it. Fuck it. Save the game, just to be sure. It won't let me save here. So I'm going to save on top of the mountain. Like I said, it's alive. Dead yet? No. Nope. Conventional weapons don't do a lot. So as I'm concerned, mission complete. Now let's go over here. I mean, the look doesn't really make sense. I've got a cold resistant headband and then a really thick, like, doublet. And then I'm wearing, like, pumps. And no leg, like, skinny jeans. Which, first of all, ew. Second of all, why would I do that? How does that make any sense thematically to what Lincoln's trying to achieve? <laughs> Answer, it don't. It don't make no sense. Okay. Climbing. Oh, I know what I had to do. I wanted to go to the fairy fountain with the money. That's actually what I wanted to do. I remembered. I remember. Now I remember that. I'm unstoppable. So I've got to wait for this pedestal to glow. It's probably going to glow at night. So I've got to wait for it to glow. And then shoot an icy or cast a cold shadow on its core, which makes me think shoot it with an ice arrow.
All those shadows, I don't think, can technically be warm or cold. The game wants me to go over here, but that's just the shack that the thing tells you about it, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. I never saw that. The whole time I've never seen that. No wonder I would have fucking just looked at that all night. That's a problem. Okay, hang on. I can make it, it's gotta be fast. Cut it a bit short. Again, it may be cheating, but I'm glad I looked it up, because otherwise I would have been looking at that fucking rock for five hours. I'm glad I didn't do that. Now, I need to get Farosh next. He likes to hang around. He flies around a bit. I think it depends on the time of day, though, again. Okay. Sumasama's blessing. I don't deserve it, but I'll take it. Good. Just what I needed! Okay, cool. Let us proceed. Give me my orb and I'll be on my way. Thank you. Fifteen. Five more to go. Dunk dun 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 ba dun 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 ba rang dun 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 I think I know where all the rest of the five are as well Searching for Farosh I'll find it Only one of the dragons ever exists at any one time, I think, so they'll fly around. They'll do their own thing. I probably should have gone for Frost straight away once I saw him. But, oh well. Could depend on the time of day. Could depend on any number of things. While I've got a minute, I could actually feed the fairy the, the rupees that she wants. And then they'll be all good. Ooh. 
Did I just never do this? Hmm. Didn't see it. Tell me. Bye bye. Who thought putting 900 corks in this game was a good idea? Honestly. I know open world games need the little shit that you don't really care about where you go and get, but 900. It's obscene. My fairies. Now, Finch. Hello. Boy, sweet boy, please, listen to my story. Sure. I'm the great fairy Miha. This place was once a beautiful spring, but as time passed, few and fewer travelers offered to fit off for me rupees. Arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my powers abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 10,000 rupees. Once my powers have been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. 10,000? Here you go. What's this? You don't have enough rupees? How tragic, how dreadfully tragic. Of course I don't have enough rupees. You want 10,000 of the fucking things. I had an idea, I had a thought. It crossed my mind. Um, I have a recollection, although it could be wrong, of as long as you stay on the path, you don't get burned alive. Which seems to make no sense to me at all, but my brain's telling me it's correct, so that's what I'm going to go try. Doesn't seem right. Actually seems very stupid. But... We'll try. No, I'm just burning. Okay. Then I need something else. I'm going to go up the road and see if there's any en entities on the road that can tell me what I need to do. Rather than running straight up. This is the final big part of the game that I need to get to. And I can't even get close. Because I'm burning my ass. Quite literally setting myself on fire. Sorry. But we're moving up here. It's going to get pretty warm, but it won't get so warm that I'll die this time. Death Mountain Marker 1, Climbing Path Trailhead. More of Death Mountain. What's a little bit of death between friends, eh? Hey, go ball. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Being so scared. You're fine. We're not the monsters here. I survived. All right, here, take this as a thank you, brother. Heart your spice meat skewer. Restore your health and temporarily increase your maximum hearts. A special goal on spice covers up the scent of the meal, allowing its flavor to shine. 
It's normal for magma bombs to not rain down non-stop. I don't understand the weather around here. Oh, let's get down to brass tacks. Feel free to browse my wares. I have a rare, some rare ore burning a hole in my, pack, in my pack. Take your time looking over and let me know what you want. Why would I ever sell... I mean, buy ore that's that expensive from you? You're making no sense, buddy. Crazy. I think I'm going to spend that much money. You want, like, over a diamond's price for not a diamond, so... I'm not going to have it. Maybe we'll meet again down the road. Maybe. If you're lucky. Luckily, their, their attacks are not that strong. Otherwise, I'll be upset. You're killing me. Can't do that either. I tried. I thought maybe I can dodge it. Nope. I can dodge this dick. Okay, let me get them. Master Sword back out. Search for me. I'm around here somewhere, right? Hell yeah. Now that skewer's gonna come in handy. Look at this bad boy. Anything with full recovery on it, super good. Because it means you can go into a fight like a Belen, like I just did, and be fine. Although you have no right to be fine, you should be you should be dead. This trail so far is not even that hot. It's fine. I'm loving it. I'm exploring this part of the map that I don't think you ever actually have to explore. Ice keys, and I need ice choo choo. So I need to go to the like the snowy mountain somewhere and find them. Be gone. I mean, I'll take everything because it's all useful, but I don't need to. These fire chews are just everywhere. You've got to put away your shit, otherwise it burns. This is the whole point of these guys is just to burn all your gear away. Not about that life. Oh, 
fight. I deserve it. Hit myself with a high powered bomb. Yep. Oh, rare goodies. Oh, it happens. Sometimes you get shit on. Can't help it. Actual, honest to goodness, diamond. Okay, well, we're going up the trail. I've nearly made it to the tower. I haven't found anything yet that says, come here, do this. But that's why I came up here, just to see if there's any NPC or whatever that said, yeah, if you want to go up further than this, you're probably going to need a B, C thing. You should go and get it. Go on, city ahead. Heat level broke. Non Gorns use extreme caution. Non Go Bonds. Non Go Bands. Immediately, it's too hot to live. Became too soft to live. It's a classic FF9. Uh, enemy death notification. The enemies quite literally are too soft to be alive, so they die. Um, right, so I guess I've got to find Farosh first. He's, he's obviously the big one to get the scale, to get the shine. But more importantly than that, I've got to find a way of getting 10,000 rupees together. Monsters can I actually search for right now? Okay. I've got Fire Chew. I need to go to a mountain and find a regular Ice Chew. And once I do that, then I can go... I don't know what I was doing. There we go. Go to the top of the mountain of the Nehru. That's fucking cold. And then find an ice chute, and then just search for them. And find them. Because I'm going to need that heat resistance, baby. Is what I'm thinking. I need, like, super eye, super cold veins. Now the other way around to what I had before. This. Then I might as well get a small amount of attack up. Because fuck it, why not? Now I'm looking for ice chews. Or oh, ice keys, that's fine too. Because they'll both be together. Because ice keys and ice chews aren't actually that dangerous on their own. As you can see, they tend to hang out. So now all I gotta do is go to the map and say, could you find me some ice chews, please? <laughs> Tell me where is Gandalf, for I much desire to speak with him. Also, I might as well take a picture of you. It's 
That is Elfos. That's a good picture, but I can't take it. There's a big boy. Probably just use bombs. Back. There's got to be more. It's got to be. Just a matter of finding him. They'll be all over the place. Anywhere cold, they'll spring up out the ground or already be around there. See. As I follow this path around, that's Nadja. There he is. There's a cold wolf. I need to find a hot wolf, too. Definitely exists, probably. And we certainly didn't make it up. You're dead. All right. Now give me my choo choos. Then I'll wait for the next blood moon to come back and do it again. Oh. A wild one is just around. Kind of don't want to use the master sword for everything, but the sooner I use it, it will break, and then I can wait for it to come back again, and then use it properly on the guardians or whatever that need it. Choo choo fox. Where are ye? Oh god. Okay, so you can do that. Sometimes they may get destroyed. I see. So I probably don't get a one to one ratio. I'll 
take it. It's a lot faster. I think if it was very cold, they may turn um, cold on their own. Okay, he's just a blue guy. He's not actually... It's not actually uh, uh, ice. There's Alphos. Now the keys. I also want to kill them. Hey! That's important. Because they give me ice key swings, which I need a lot of. For the next level of upgrade. Yeah, I think the bombing them is actually proving to be a bad idea. Because I think bombing them destroys their jelly. A little bit. I'm only interested really in um, in the uh, level 2 for the Desert Vow upgrade. I'm not really interested in anything else. Sort of gravy at that point. Okay, I think I'm done with Ice Chew Jelly for now. I think I may have a... I don't have enough, but I'll have some. Then I can turn the rest into Ice Jelly right in front of the Fairy Fountain. So I'll see you guys next time. When we actually try and find a way of getting up Death Mountain. See you then. Goodbye.